Hi, uh, I'm Siddha and in this video I will mm, talk about producing the line chart animation by using R. So for this purpose I will use the Nepal Stock Exchange data which is daily data and have about uh, it has about 2200 observation. So basically I will use these packages ggplot2, libridate, deployer gg animate and td where so first let's let me start with uh, uploading the data importing the data into r uh, first let me check my working directory which is now the october 31st so, so uh, now i do not have to change it because i have put the excel file in this uh, october 31st folder in my desktop so my working directory is October 31st folder in desktop. I use the library read Excel to import my Excel file into R. So I, I, I read the Excel file at read uh, underscore ex Excel, uh, which is from the read Excel library. So uh, the data is in Nepse Excel file. So I run this line of code and uh the data is imported in my environment so i can look at the heads of this data so there are five variables five columns the date uh colon open index high index low index during the day and the closing index so the first thing i'm going to do here is to convert the the date variable into standard format by using the lubridate package so for that i just create a new variable as new date uh, it's given by as dot date function as the date function uh, which is simply the standard date format as month date and year so if I run this line of code, a new variable will be created. Uh, a new variable will be created. Uh, we can see it here. The new variable has the standard date, year, month, and day. So now I will create a static plot, uh, a static line plot. Uh, before that, we can look at the dimension. We have 2205 observations daily observations we can look at the summary of this data so uh, the the date is from 2011 2011 march 25th to 2020 december 7 and the value of the index we are going to plot is from 292 to 2071 so after this, uh, we uh, we can produce a static line plot. So for that, I'm going to use uh, the ggplot package, ggplot command from ggplot package. Data is nefse, uh, aesthetics x axis new date y axis is the closing index plus. Uh, I want to plot a line line plot so i choose zoom underscore line the color of the line is blue size 1.0 and theme gray i give a title nepse nepse index nepse index movement in nepal so if i run this line of course it will produce a static it will produce a static line chart of the nepse index so I can just change it to classic if I want. So this is the static line plot of the 2200 observations of the NEPSA index. So now next I'm, I am going to animate it. So I'm going to animate it by the day frequency, daily frequency. Uh, and add some other other features to make the chart more attractive so the same ggplot command but uh, this time now i'm going to save the chart as an object p so p nepse the name of the database then 
then so this is the piping function uh nepse and then ggplot command aesthetics x new date y closing index plus gm line color blue size 1.0 so i want to add the point point uh, in the plot uh, size 5 color green then labels the first level is the date uh, the second level is the closing value of the closing index so i want to put the date of the index as well as the value of the index while animating this chart so i want to change the theme for instance i want to put the classic theme here uh, the plot title to center the plot title i use at just equals to horizontal justification 0 0.5 i want to give the title i want to give the title of this chart and to animate uh, i i use this function transition underscore reveal from gg animate package so i want to animate uh, by the new date by date so few more uh, frame per second i want to put uh, two frames per second and the number of frames 500 and the width of the chart is 1200 so if i run this line of course it will produce a chart uh, with 500 frames and animate it by two frames per second so let me run this first and let me animate it now so it, it will take few seconds a few minutes because uh there are 500 uh, frames to be produced and combined in order to produce the animation so you can change the value of these parameters for instance uh, you can create 1000 frames uh, to in order to make the animations more longer uh, you can shorten the animation by increasing the frame per second. Or you, you, even you can specify the height and width of the animation. So let us wait for a few seconds. It is creating the frames. few more seconds so because i have specified uh, it to create 500 frames this taking some time by default it it would create 100 frames only So I have created 500 frames because there are 2200 data points and I want to visualize them at least in 500, uh, 500 discrete stages in my graph. So just it has created 200 frames and we'll take some more time. okay almost 400 frames okay almost finished okay done so now it will start uh, animating the chart so as i specified it to show the the date the date and the index it will 
it will show the date as well as index at, and it will animate uh, uh, the 500 frames created uh, by using two frames per second parameter so we can save we can save this animation uh, in different formats for instance uh, we can save it in the GIF format for that what we can do is uh, we can just uh, we can just uh, save the animation in an object p1 uh, we have created the object p now we animate the object p with n frames 500 uh, frame per second 2 by 1200 and the additional one is the renderer which is the uh, zip skier underscore renderer here and we use the anim underscore save command to save the animation uh, under this name and the animation object is p1 that we created in the previous line so if you run these two line of course it will save the animation as animation dot gif in your working directory since it will take time again to create the 500 frames uh, i will not run this course here uh, and i have already already created the animation and uh, we can have a look at the animation that i have created so this is my working directory and this is the animation that i have created so you can open it with any browser internet explorer or mozilla firefox uh, and look at the animation you have created so here it is so you can further save the animation in video format uh, for that uh, you can change the renderer for instance uh, if you have installed the ffmp the software in your computer you can save it as uh, the mp4 format also uh, so since i have not installed the ffmp z software in my computer i'm not able this time to create the video uh, from this animation but you can do that or you can just convert the uh, gif image to video by using any online conversion tools thank you for watching this video uh, i have put this uh, data and the command file in the description of this video so that you can try producing this chart uh, in your computer